Boo Boo the Bulldog is a sweet 10-year-old female who's had it rough lately. A few months back, she had a large tumor on the side of her face. It was surgically removed by doctors at UT's College of Veterinary Medicine, and she lost an eye. But now the dog is having additional radiation done. Here she's sedated for the 10th of 16 scheduled sessions at the hospital's radiation oncology unit. But her treatment isn't costing owner Jennifer Harrington much out of pocket. Of course, my name for her is not Hero, but Shiro. She's my Shiro. <laughs> this has been, you know, every day that I can have Boo Boo one more day is a blessing through this. Um, so I, I'm grateful to UT, I'm grateful to the grant. This program is made possible by a grant from the Petco Foundation and Blue Buffalo Pet Foods. The two organizations gave UTCVM $350,000 and it runs through 2018. The grant helps pay for cancer patients like Boo Boo to get the life-saving care they need. And it keeps pet owners from having to make difficult decisions about their animals based on their bank account. On average, treatment for a medium-sized dog, so roughly 50-pound dog, um, can run up to four or five thousand dollars for a course of chemotherapy or a course of radiation therapy. So it's not cheap. But it is doable now thanks to this grant. Here Boo Boo is put under a linear accelerator which beams x-ray like rays from below and above aimed at microscopic portions of the tumor not removed by the surgery. The linear accelerator is pretty much an x-ray machine on steroids. Dr. Isabella Pfeiffer is working to cure Boo Boo and thinks the outlook is good. We know the cancer that Boo Boo has called a multilobular tumor of bone is very treatable. Um, it has a low rate of spread to other organs, so if we can get local control, um, she most likely be cured from that cancer. After a short session, minutes only, it's time for our groggy patient to wake up. The future looks good for Boo Boo, several more happy years on the horizon. And she and her human can focus now on fighting her disease without having to fight the cost. This is Charles Denny reporting.